go. So we got the sizzle. You ready for the sizzle? Yeah. So we got the sizzle is about to go down in the paint, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy Charles Gregory and the beautiful Lauren Sizzle. With the sizzle, holla. Yeah, I got that sizzle. So for all of you loving, loving hip hop Atlanta yeah. fans, me. Loving yeah, I'm, Atlanta. I'm a little bit behind on. I gotta kind of catch up. So mm-hmm. star Karen King, she posted a video rant saying that she is not on crack. She did not miss any car payments. And she came for TMZ saying, look, my hair was messed up. I didn't have on no makeup because TMZ posted her mugshot days prior to this video rant. So she was on the, you know, on the mugshot scene looking a little bit ratchet. You know, she didn't have a wig on. She didn't have a makeup on. And her natural hair was kind of braided down. So for those of you who don't wear weaves, you know when you, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you, you got them cornrows. Before you put that weave in, that sew in, that throw your wig on, you might braid you some straight back. So she had that on or whatever. So she was mad. Mm. She was mad because TMZ originally had broke the story when Karen King was in court on a separate matter. Right. The court clerk kind of made this announcement that she had this outstanding warrant for issues related to her car. Mm. So that's when TMZ was like, oh, she, you know, she didn't pay her car note, so they locked her up. So they posted that mugshot to go along with that little story. So she kind of, you know. They showed the lit. real face. Yes. Yeah, yes. but when you in media, you know to always be ready, even if it's for a mugshot. <laughs> mug, mugshot beat You know what? That's right. That's and, the, and always cheap, be beat. They cheap, call it, yes. they call it, uh, mugshot chic. <laughs> <laughs> Mugshot sheet. She Mug said the description, though, of everything they said, mm-hmm. you know, with, the, with the, the crack and the, you know. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. Let crack. me just put that mm-hmm. out there. Crack, crack is whack, ladies and gentlemen. Crack yes, is whack. Yes, yes, So, a strange Philly native model actress, Amber Rose, she's trying to set the record mm-hmm. straight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. So, you That's know, we I all did. know the story. Mm-hmm. We know mm-hmm. that she appeared on Drink Champs podcast and she was saying that ladies and gentlemen for the record right now to date i am a self-admitted amber rose <laughs> hater amber rose knock yourself out yes yeah, so she mm, so she was on drink champs and she was saying that Ugh. a lot of people where she's from aren't traditionally attractive aren't traditionally people. attractive people. so you know she's she says she's blessed with the beauty being blessed with beauty is like a gift and a curse because you know well she's from south philly yeah and we covered this we covered this and um it was crazy because first of all what an insult right to philly women yeah. And yes. furthermore, and what happened is it started a plethora of people posting exactly. her high school pictures. Oh, yeah. her whole look. Yes, yes. You look the yes. way you look from so a bunch she, of doctors. Right, right. And, and basically, <laughs> um, you know, so um, to Ray Hart, mm-hmm. Kevin Hart's ex-wife, yeah, yeah. she was like, she was upset. And she was just oh, like, look, up. you're setting a bad example mm-hmm. for young women that look up to you. And not only that, she fired shots saying that you got to look like that by your surgeries that you had, your plastic surgeries. About that. So, Thanks I mean. Thanks heart. Yeah, she, she, from, she from Philly. So All day. she felt the need to kind of put her and in she her place. should. I think every woman from Philly, especially if you're from South Philly, you need to be chiming in on this and correct that. Because right. Amber yeah. Rose, right? Her 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 reach right now is so broad that people who don't know Philadelphia will think that right. no they one will. is as beautiful as, as, Amber, a, Rose. as Amber Rose. Especially exactly. if you look like Amber Rose. Exactly. She, exactly. I, I, that's why I said well, that's what everybody who said you was beautiful. Yeah. Well, she also said that she she's now saying that she never said anybody was ugly. She and didn't she was referring technically to say that. she was referring to society's standards of beauty. Come on. So man. I'm Come like society on. standards. Like she I clearly most, said yeah. Philly. Yeah, she, she clearly said, said from her yes, area yes. that she That's she felt it was a curse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that she, she was, was so beautiful. beautiful. Exactly, girl. Bye. Exactly. She said broad in exactly. what is it? Ellsworth. Ellsworth. Broad First of Ellsworth. all, Miss. Let, let, let me tell you something. No one in Philly say broad in anything. That's the <laughs> first thing. And even my homies from Alney, they don't say broad in Alney. They say, I'm from Alney. I'm from yeah. Erie. I'm from Erie Ave. Yeah. They don't say broad yeah. in Erie. I've broad never heard, right. I've never heard says, somebody that's say I that. Said, that's how I know. Like, first of all, I ain't, I ain't even going to see Because I don't want to take up too much time. But I feel some type of way about mm-hmm. that because I'm from mm-hmm. Philly. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I, we spend a lot of time, especially on colorism, right? And when you look at somebody like Amber Rose, right? And and she's talking to the world in terms of traditionally that's attractive. Right. The first thing you think of is, well, what's traditional? Mm-hmm. Right. And that's what I'm saying. And since she's like, saying it, she gave a platform, which means she's talking as she is the tradition. Mm-hmm. Right. And she's not. She's I mean, not. not because she's not the yeah. tradition. Far from it. What I also need people yeah. to know is women from Philly don't traditionally become successful from sleeping around and dancing Hello. on poles. Right. We don't do that exactly. either. Hello. That's not Very a well tradition. Said. Very well said. Very well said. <laughs> That's Hallelujah. not Philly tradition. Definitely not. No. Yeah. Real talk. No. Bye, girl. No. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Cut it out. Amber Rose. <laughs> right, right. Matter of fact, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put out now. Now, now shout out. Oh, because we didn't shout. Shout out this, this, this. Let me tell you. This segment has been brought to you by AfroPhilly.com. Right. So they sponsored this segment of the sizzle. Right. And we put this on AfroPhilly.com. So shout out to AfroPhilly.com. Shout out to so, AfroPhilly. Yeah. So we got a nice little reach with AfroPhilly.com. Right. So the sizzle is here, and I'm putting this out for everybody because we're gonna post it. Amber Rose, come to the show. Plead your case. Yes. I don't, yeah. don't even plead your case. Just tell us what you actually meant because you tried to clear it up on your Snapchat or something. That, that ain't go too yeah. well either. She made it yeah, worse. She, yeah, because she looked like she had an attitude. Yeah, I know. Like, why y'all bad? Back- what, what do you mean? Why uh-huh. wouldn't you think we would be mad? Come in Philly, our diehard fans. So everybody from Philly was right. riding with you. Miss Rose? Yes. Come to the show. Back. We talk. We come to the show. Let's hear you out. Right exactly. here, giving exactly. you the exclusive. We'll give you the exclusive. All about you, Ms. Rose. Right here. Yes. We talk, we, we fill it up. And we from Philly. War winning show, Philadelphia. Philly. Yes, <sighs> yes, yes. You come to yes. my show, I cook for you. How about that? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so. I'll cook for y'all first. So, the LGBT community is livid over comments that comedian Lil Duval made on The Breakfast. They hot. Time. Yes, yes. They are, they not having it. So they decided to boycott Lil Duval, Charlamagne the God, The Breakfast Club, all of her main hosts. Mm-hmm. And according to TMZ, Lil Duval was asked, and I feel bad because it, it seemed like he was kind of roped into, you know, they kind of cornered him or whatever. But he was asked if he if he found out he slept with a transgender woman and she didn't tell him, mm-hmm. you know, what would he do? And he responded, she would be dying. What? Mm-hmm. She would be dying. So Charlemagne, you know, DJ Envy and Angela, they chimed in and they were like, that's a hate crime. You can't say that. So they did it, correct it, it, right? They did correct it, right? Yeah. That's and then, you now. know, and then, well, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, but, you know, he he, he was kind of saying uh, tranny, calling them tranny, and they was trying um, to keep it, you know, politically. Yeah, I seen it. And they said, he said, oh, I didn't know that. They he, said, no, it's transgender. Yeah, you had to say, said, you know, oh, give them their respect. But it's like the LGBT in the queue mm-hmm. they weren't having it they weren't having it they were like you know basically you guys didn't do enough you could have did this and that and now it's like a big social media thing to boycott the breakfast club and Lil duval wow, wow. so yeah it's a yeah. it's a thing now yeah, hmm. yeah so it's so, a thing to boycott little to, to boycott the breakfast club and little duval yes that's yes. a thing now. Like that, that's what? what they're trying to do. And I've actually mm-hmm. seen people on social media hashtagging, you know, boycott the Breakfast Club or wow. you know the you know that's transgender um, women or whatever. So but what's your take on that, T? They just you know they were basically saying like they you know their lives matter and you yeah. know their lives it's not that. a game. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's, it's a new a time. You know, it's a new time, and we're mm-hmm. accepting a lot of different people. And I mean, I I think if you still do this type of bashing you're being very ignorant yeah because it's yeah. just it's just a sign of what has been happening in our community so i mean around everywhere right so to just take the stand and just make an ignorant comment like that is just bad i think so too and and you know um to come to the defense of the breakfast club right. i feel like you know they kind of did they, they weren't, like, not saying anything right. and not letting, you know, not just letting him say whatever he wanted to say. They were like, yo, that's a hate crime. Right. And, you know, um, you can't you can't be saying yeah, that, showing know, their respect. And they basically, I don't know if they wanted them to just, like, take him off the air yeah. or, or whatever. But I, 
I mean, I felt like he he he, he did enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think you know what you what you that's that what you think. <laughs> I, first of all, in, in defense of the Breakfast Club, you have people you know guests come on your show. Right. You don't always know when. What's going to come out their mouth? Right, right, right. You know, one thing, it's one of the reasons people love the Breakfast Club is because we all about keeping it 100, keeping it right, real. Right, right, right. So right, right. I feel like what he said was his true feeling in that moment and because that, yeah. you have these transgender folks that will not tell you. Yeah, that's You know what I mean? Right. Like, give me my choice. You just took my right, choice away. Exactly. You know what yep. I mean? And so when I heard, when I hear that I equated to mm-hmm. somebody then slept with you to have AIDS and they ain't tell you and you found oh, out afterwards. Wow. That's big. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what if he that's said so, so what that's if that's he said crime. he was gonna kill the person with AIDS, but it was a woman. Right. So so he could say he gonna kill that person, but he can't say he's gonna kill the person that yeah. tricked him and took his choice away yeah, yeah. to not be something that he's not. You know, one thing about right. homosexuality, even though it's very welcoming in the world today, mm-hmm. still people who are very religious they still don't accept it. So right. you just yeah. took something that I might be really passionate uh-huh. about right. and right. totally against, and you took my choice away. Wow. Right. You That's see it. what I'm saying? Yeah. You just made me do something I'm totally against. So, yes, I'm very upset. Right. So them asking that question and him answering it was him keeping it 100 yeah. and how he and probably he, would he, feel in that yeah. moment. Yeah. And they probably, you know, they didn't know he was probably going to yeah. say, say that. that. Yeah. So, you know, they quickly yeah. had to yeah. do some, you know, uh-huh. You know, they did probably didn't know it was going over to get this the, far. Know. Yeah, yeah exactly. but I mean, I, and, and he did say that he has no issues with yeah, gay or yeah. transgender people. And then he also came on TMZ Live to address the protest. And he was just like, that was basically him stating how, if that happened, how what he would do. Because, like you said, as that, you know, that person would be taking away his choice to not be involved with them. Right. So, you know, it was just like I was just basically stating how I felt. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So, yeah, and so, um, yeah, man, I guess I guess for me, I thought that um, it was interesting uh, uh, the response that he got. You know, I felt that he might get some heat from it. Mm-hmm. But one thing I, I do want everyone to remember Little Duvall's a comedian. Yeah, and that's what right, he was saying. Right. He was like, I'm supposed that's to say true. what he's I want to say. And, you know. He's a comedian. And so I think he was, it was one of those things where it was kind of like that dark comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he was still kind of in his character trying to be right. funny, and it really wasn't right, that funny. Right, right, right. right, right and right. so I do want everybody mm-hmm. to remember that, right? I'm not really a Duvall fan because I don't really go out and try to listen to him, but yeah. I, I listened to the interview from The Breakfast Club, right? right? I just was like, yeah, you know, but the, like to the defense of the Breakfast Club, like they was just like, yo, felt, yeah. Charlemagne was being Charlemagne, away, yeah. you know, but they was saying like, yo, you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, and right. something he and said was wrong. like, oh, really? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know you couldn't call them trannies. I didn't know that. Yeah. So he, I mean, it yeah. was ignorance, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And so he found out, unfortunately, he found out the there. Right, 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 yeah. right. You know, and so <laughs> the hard way. I just yeah. think that, um, you know, uh, uh, we have these really challenging issues in, in this discourse right. that we need to constantly talk about and put out there because if we did and, and really expose this like it would, little Duval probably would have knew or understood it. So I do think that it's more conversation that needs to happen and I do think it needs to happen more frequent. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I one thing I do want to say is that, you know, um, everyone has their right mm-hmm. and choices. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? Just like a friend may have a right that I know He's gay. He has a right to choose. Just like I have a right to say I'm not not with it. You know what I'm saying? But I respect your right. And so we all have to respect each other's rights. And that's my position. Right. And I'm sticking to it. Yeah. (laughs) So that was the sizzle, ladies and gentlemen. Real crazy. Powered by AfroPhilly. Powered by AfroPhilly.com. So make sure y'all check it out. It's going to be everywhere.